it's one thing for you to talk about your product and promote your product. It is an entirely another thing for someone else to talk about your business. The number one lead source, the one that's going to convert the most is word of mouth. Today, we're going to talk about how we can use this inside of SamCart. Scott, you're going to show us how the affiliate center works. Talk about some of the numbers that some of our SamCart VIPs have been able to achieve using the affiliate center. If you want to pull your own or create your own little army of salespeople that refer your products for you, but only get paid when they make you money, like that's what the affiliate center is. It is wildly powerful. Let's take a look at some of these screenshots. This first one is from the prepared performer, a uh, uh, awesome sharp marketer, Molly Mahoney, uh, who just this year so far, the first couple months of this year, pulled in $109,000 in revenue, came from affiliates. So $109,000 in revenue for free, right? Uh, this is another one who we looked at a, a big launch last year for Copy Accelerator, did $154,000 in extra revenue because they had affiliates promoting with them, right? So made an extra $154,000 that came in for free. Didn't have to buy ads, didn't have to do any of that good stuff. And the last one here is a, a brand that made $328,000 from affiliates last year, right? So an extra $328,000 coming because they have people referring their stuff for free. This is not ads. This is not, you know, need more organic followers. This is people referring your stuff and only getting paid when they make a sale. Let's go into SamCart. Let's go to Tools, Affiliate Center. Show me how to get started building my affiliate army. On SamCart scale, which by the way, again, another thing, but you're talking about affiliate center by itself is going to pay for SamCart scale for 20 years. Like that's, that's the power of it. Go get SamCart scale, go to tools, come to the affiliate center, right? And what you're going to see here is, uh, is your affiliate dashboard. So this is an example marketplace over here on the right. You would see your top grossing affiliates. So you can always see kind of your top 10. Um, you would be able to see, uh, affiliate, uh, if I take this out really, really big, you might see a little bit of data. There you go. So you can see sometime a couple weeks ago, I made two affiliate orders. Uh, here's how much affiliate revenue came in. And here's how many clicks my affiliate links are, are bringing in, right? Scroll down a touch, you can see your kind of earnings per click. That's a big thing in the affiliate world is being able to say, hey, affiliates, people promoting this offer are making two, three, five, ten dollars $10 per click, right? Really powerful stuff there. Uh, the next thing here is your affiliate login URL and your affiliate sign up URL, right? So these URLs are the kinds of things where you could share this. You put this on your blog, you put this in your footer on your website, you put it in certain email campaigns, send people here. And this is how you have affiliates sign up to actually promote your stuff. The affiliate sign up process is super simple. Just name, email address. You can collect their PayPal address. You're not connecting to their bank account here, right? This is not like super secure information. They're basically just choosing a password. Um, and then you can choose to kind of collect it. Some additional information if you want. We'll get into some of those settings here in a minute. But signing up, super, super easy. You can, again, there's a setting here in a minute I'll talk to you about where you can auto approve people who sign up. So everybody who signs up gets immediate access to your links. You can also choose to say, no, I want to approve them before they can grab links and start promoting my stuff. Back inside the affiliate center again, you'll see all of your affiliates listed here. Let's jump down. This is the next really important piece is your links table. So you the marketplace seller, you, the creator, the owner, right, um, can decide where your affiliates can send traffic, okay? But the nice part is the links that you create, you can point them wherever you want, right? So I could make a link that points people to samcart.com, right? And affiliates have a link, they've got a unique version, and when they log in, that's what they see, and they promote samcart.com. And then someone's gonna go and say, all right, cool, maybe I wanna check out a demo, or maybe I wanna click over and see, you know, certain features, you know, maybe I want to go and check out, you know, one of these free resources. But as they go from page to page to page, eventually, right, when they make it back to sign up for a free trial of SamCart, right, the correct affiliate is going to go ahead and get credit for that sale. Okay, so we cookie the user and we follow them around the internet. And whenever they come back or whenever they go from, you know, a webinar landing page to a webinar to a whatever, and eventually hit a checkout page, the affiliate that sent them will get credit when they buy, right? So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of where you actually go and point these links. Scott, my question is when I'm making these custom links, what is kind of best practice? Where should I be sending traffic to? The best place is always gonna be like, send people to webinar landing pages, right? Like send them to sales pages, send them to places where they can download free things from you, but then immediately get pitched an offer, right? Send them to places where you are going to make money. Here's a great example, actually. This is a, a sales page from a same car user. His name is Sean Fargo. And so like, here's a great sales page he's built for this product and click right here. And you've got 
SAM cards slide out, ready to go, right? So you could grab, right? If I was Sean, I would grab the URL to this page and I'd come back and I would say, all right, cool. What's the link name? This is, you know, 200, you know, mindful exercises. Never spell in public, Jordan. Oh my gosh. How do you spell exercises? That's the one. I think I misspelled that. doesn't matter. And then the destination, right? That's where you enter in that URL. So your URLs, do not send, do not let your affiliates send traffic to your social media profiles, right? Like you want to send them to places where they're going to take action right there now, right? Send them to sales pages, send them to webinar landing pages, send them to lead magnets, send them to your homepage, right? Send them to places where they're going to take action. Uh, you can actually choose what affiliates have access. So you can say, only certain affiliates can access this link, um, but I'll go ahead and just create this one and save changes. So that's how you make a link. And now each time, uh, because this one is not restricted to any specific affiliates, any one of my affiliates log in, they will see a, a their own version of this that they can use to send traffic to that page and get paid when they make sales. You can do the same thing with emails too, right? So I can actually write, uh, you know, hey, this is a promo email for affiliates. And you say like, you know, write an email and then I can drop in, you know, hey, this is my referral link. Like, you know, I'd say like, you've got to see this. And I can drop this in. And then when my affiliates log in, they'll be able to see a pre-written email for them, right? You can even add images and that kind of stuff. And their affiliate link will automatically be waiting for them, right? So if I scroll up and go to a specific affiliate in here, right? I click on their profile. You kind of get a sense of what they'll see when your affiliate logs in and your affiliate will log in and see this, see all the links they can promote. Here's the destination URLs and here's their unique version, right? So your affiliates are gonna copy their unique version, copy, and they're gonna send that out to their audience. And everybody goes and clicks on it. They share it on social media, whatever. Um, and then same thing down here with these emails. They could click here to see the email that you wrote for them. You know what I mean? They could copy and paste and send that out and it's got their affiliate link waiting for them to use. It's very, very, very easy. What I like about this, Scott, is it's making it as easy as possible for your affiliates to promote your stuff. There's nothing complicated. There's nothing getting in their way. You really want to make this as easy as possible for them to promote your stuff. That's exactly right. Yeah. You just want to make sure that when they get in, it's like copy and paste this link, copy and paste this email and hit send. Like that's it. So Jordan, let's dive into some of the settings, right? Like the next thing you need to do is come down and basically set your commission structure, right? So you see, I have a lot of products, but this would basically be the list of every product you've created in your SAM card account. And you get to decide, okay, when an affiliate sells this product, right? The clever artist, do I want to pay them a flat amount? Maybe I want to pay them $37 every time this gets sold, or do I want to send them, pay them a percentage of sales, right? So you say something like, okay, cool. Every time someone sells that product, I want to give them 30% of the sale as a commission, right? And it's that simple. You go and you set these things for all of your products, right? All good. You could have some be amounts and some be percentages. If you don't, if you have certain products, you don't want to give affiliate commission on at all, right? Maybe you have like some high ticket services that take a lot of money and take a lot of whatever, then you can literally go and set zeros as your percentage for that product but this is how you decide how much does an affiliate actually make when they sell the product listed. So Scott, if I've got some really top affiliates, I've got my kind of top 10 VIP affiliates and I want to kind of pay them a little bit more or a little bit better than kind of the everybody else. Is that possible? Can I set up tiers or commission plans? Heck yeah. And number one, that's exactly what you should do. Okay. Like uh, the affiliate game is a total 80, 20 rule, right? You will have 20% of your people producing 80% of your sales, maybe even more, honestly. And so, yeah, in SAM card, you can actually set up these, we call them uh, commission plans, right? So if I come here and hit on the commission table, I hit edit commission plans, I've got default and I've got VIP, right? And so I could go and create another one for whatever reason. But the idea here is that this drop down right here, and it's a little small, but if I toggle over to VIP, now you guys can see the table is going to reload. And now I've got VIP commission plans where these are all higher, right? And that's exactly what you should do is make sure that you've got the default is what everyone's going to come in on, right? But when some people come in here and really blow it out of the water for you, right? Make sure you have a VIP commission plan that's set up to have higher commission. Hey, I'll bump your commission up 10% after you send 100 customers or, you know, something like that. And then you can come back up to the affiliates table, right? Click on any of them and change which commission plan they're a part of in this drop down right here. So I can move this person from the default plan to the VIP plan um, and it's automatically saving my changes. And now all of a sudden, every sale from here, this part forward, they're gonna get higher commissions on every sale they make. 
All right, Scott, take us into the custom settings, the, you know, cookies and expiration dates and how, you know, when they get paid out. Let's go to the bottom. Let's yeah. If you scroll way down to the bottom, right, what you're going to see is you'll see a table of every payout you've ever made. I've never made a payout in this account, right? But here's some settings. We're not going to touch on all these settings because it'd be a little tedious, but the ones that really matter, right? First one is pending commission period. How long after someone pays something or uh, how long after someone makes an order do you want the affiliate to get paid like to be actually paid for this versus leave it as pending most people will take this to be how long is your guarantee period that's the right way to think about this if you offer a 30-day refund period on on everything you sell then make this 30 days right it'll basically make sure that okay cool the affiliate has gotten credit but the commission is pending not payable until the guarantee period is done if the customer refunds it's automatically going to pull it away from the affiliate they won't get credit for anything that's refunded right but that's the pending commission period the next one is this cookie expiration thing. This basically says how long after someone clicks on an affiliate link do you want the affiliate to get credit for that sale, right? So you could make this 999 if you wanted to and just say, listen, for the next three years or as long until someone deletes their cookies on their browser, I want that affiliate to get credit. Um, or you could leave this kind of shorter. Most people, I would say, are 30 or 60 days on this. That's what I see. The next two settings are really easy. Auto approving affiliates, right? That means if someone, if you have this toggled to yes, and someone goes to this page and signs up to be your affiliate, they'll automatically get approval and access to their links and start promoting. If not, if I were to toggle this off, then you, the marketplace owner, would get an email when someone signs up and it would have you come back here and you'd have to approve or decline or delete this affiliate in order for them to then get access. Uh, there's a couple more in here that's just about kind of like what sort of you know email notifications do you want, things like that. Uh, the last one that I'll say is the minimum payout amount, right? So this basically says, okay, until an affiliate gets $50 worth of commission, I'm not gonna pay them out, right? So it keeps you from having to pay out like very tiny sales or tiny affiliates, right? You can set some sort of minimum threshold to be included in a payout. And now the most important question, Scott, when my affiliates have made sales, how do I then pay them? You can come into your affiliate center anytime, right? And what's up here at the top is gonna to give you a preview of how many commissions are payable, meaning when I click this button, generate payout CSV, that would mean I'm gonna pay out something like 60 bucks in commissions right now, right? Versus how many commissions are pending, meaning how many affiliate sales have been made that are still within that 30 day window of what we just talked about, that setting down below where it's how long is your pending period. If you set your pending period to be one day, you would have very little numbers ever in pending and everything would jump right to payable, right? We have people who come into Samcart and they click generate payout CSV every day because they know their pending period is relatively short and they come in here and every day they want their affiliates to get something. We've got other people that do this once a month. It's probably the most common. And so whenever you click generate payout CSV, right? I'm gonna go ahead and it would uh, zero out these numbers. It would create a CSV, right? Down here in the bottom where I can download on the payouts table. I can download this, uh, I can download this report. I can upload this directly to PayPal MassPay and and pay all those affiliates, or you can take it and pay them however you want, right? We've got a lot of people who literally run their affiliates through payroll for their company, right? Or they send them Venmo transactions, but it'd be one spreadsheet, it has all the information you need, right? You can come download it again anytime and just pay your affiliates however you want. PayPal mass pay is probably the most common, um, but we've got plenty of people that just take that CSV and they pay, you know, their handful of affiliates in other ways. So listen, if you wanna start recruiting your own army to sell your stuff, go get SamCard Scale, right? You get uh, the SamCard Affiliate Center, you get the Card Abandonment app, you get Subscription Saver, we've got other videos, we'll link to those things as well. These are the kind of things that are adding tens of thousands of dollars to your bottom line and is well, well, well worth the price of admission here. So uh, even if it's just one or two great affiliate relationships, right, they can be extremely profitable with tools like this. Go check out SamCard Scale, upgrade to SamCard Scale inside of your app or head over to samcard.com slash pricing and grab a free trial today.